Hey everybody, Cynthia here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Monday so far. I am on my 49th personal Cricut challenge that I collaborate with Misha from Scraps and Things One On. And it's just basically personal challenges that we give each other every week to encourage each other to use our crickets a lot. Um, so this week we were supposed to either alter a box or create a treat box um, or, you know, make a treat box. It could be anything we wanted with at least one Cricut image. So I used my Disney Mickey and Friends cartridge. Ain't cute? And you guys have seen these. I've made a bunch of them before, but I'm just going to show you. I've used uh, page 57. I made this acorn. And page 56, I made this fall leaf in different colors. So those are my images and the cartridge that I used. And I created, um, or I made an origami treat box. Now, these origami boxes have been around for a very long time. Matter of fact, two years ago, my husband and I did one for a Halloween series I was doing, and they had witches hats for the lids. Um, but this is this is my little origami tree box, and this particular box I decided to follow a tutorial from Dawn's Stamping Thoughts. She's a Stampin' Up demonstrator, and she just made a bunch of origami boxes, and it reminded me of these. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna make one of them because I just enjoy doing it. This was from a 9x9 nine nine sheet of cardstock. Um, so you don't have to make the bigger ones with the 12x12. 12 12. But if you open it, it really does. It's very, you know, pretty deep and it'll hold a lot of candy or, you know, treats or whatever you decide you want to put in there. Now, I didn't have double-sided paper, which is like probably the best that you'd want to do with this. So I decided to cover my flaps with some fall colors and I just used you know the plain yellow cardstock for my box and then this is my cute little lid and here is my Cricut leaf here my acorn and my leaf here and my little turkey and a flower and these are like some cane company and leaves I had in my stash just fits on like that really cute and I'm going to fill it with some treats and probably um, give it to my mom for Thanksgiving when I when we have Thanksgiving together. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but something good I'll fill it with. <laughs> anyway, um, if you'd like to create these adorable little origami boxes and you'd like to follow an easy tutorial that I did, it's Dawn Stamping Thoughts, and I'll post the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. And this week, which is due Sunday, uh, Misha and I challenged each other to do a 12 by 12 layout fall theme with at least one sentiment and two different images. So that'll be coming up. And I hope to do it on time and get it done before Sunday. So thank you guys for watching. Take care.